Investigations by the NGO Public Eye found that workers, including children, in Shine's supplier factories work upwards of 75 hours a week, sometimes for as little as 4 cents an hour. In 2022, Shine customers reported finding chilling messages in their clothing packages. Tags reading HELP were allegedly discovered sewn into Shine's clothing, sparking viral social media posts. You may love the price of that trendy outfit in your cart, but what if I told you the real cost could be child labor, toxic chemicals, and stolen designs? Welcome to the dark reality behind Shine. Shine. The name alone has become synonymous with cheap, trendy clothing that's just a click away. But behind the glitzy website, the affordable prices, and the eye-catching designs lies a much darker story. One that's hidden from the millions of customers who unknowingly support it. Today, we're going to pull back the curtain on the dark reality of Shine, exposing the controversies, the human cost, and the environmental damage this fast fashion giant is causing worldwide. The Devastating Impact of Fast Fashion To understand the true impact of Shine, we need to start with fast fashion itself. Fast fashion is all about producing clothes as quickly and cheaply as possible. Brands like Shine excel at churning out new designs in a matter of days, capturing every trend at lightning speed. But this approach has devastating effects on the planet. For those who don't know, fast fashion encourages a throwaway culture, where clothes are bought, worn, and tossed aside in a matter of weeks. According to the Ellen MacArthur Foundation, the equivalent of one garbage truck filled with textiles is burned or dumped in a landfill every second. This throwaway culture leads to massive textile waste that pollutes our oceans and overflows our landfills, and Shane contributes heavily to this waste. A recent investigation by CBC Marketplace revealed that Shine churns out 10,000 new styles each day, fueling an insatiable demand for low-cost, low-quality clothing. Moreover, the United Nations Environment Program, UNEP, reports that the fashion industry is responsible for nearly 10% of global carbon emissions. The high demand for quick fashion not only depletes natural resources, but also pushes for high water consumption. Consider this. It takes 2,700 liters of water to produce a single cotton t-shirt, and brands like Shane mass-produce millions of these products annually, intensifying the strain on global resources. Forced labor in Xinjiang and the Uyghur crisis. But Shane's impact isn't just on the environment, it's on people too. In 2022, Shane customers began to find disturbing messages in their packages. Some shoppers reported finding tags with the word HELP written on them, leading many to believe these notes were cries for help from workers trapped in abusive conditions. The brand has been scrutinized for alleged ties to forced labor in China's Xinjiang region, home to the Uyghur Muslim minority. Reports from the Australian Strategic Policy Institute, ASPI, and the U.S. Department of State document how over a million Uyghurs have been detained in re-education camps, facing intense surveillance and forced labor under brutal conditions. Shine has denied direct involvement in forced labor practices, but their supply chain is murky. Independent investigations suggest that Sheen, along with other fast fashion brands, is linked to suppliers who use forced labor in Xinjiang. And here's the grim truth. Sheen's low prices come at a high cost for the people forced to make their clothes under inhumane conditions. When you buy from Sheen, there's a chance you're supporting a system that exploits Uyghur workers against their will. Design Theft the copycat controversy. One of Sheen's biggest controversies involves design theft. The brand has been accused by both major fashion labels and small designers of copying their designs. According to a report from Business Insider, Shine has repeatedly lifted designs from brands like Levi's, Dr. Martens, and Ralph Lauren. More disturbingly, it's also been accused of copying designs from small independent creators who can't afford to fight Sheen's legal team. Shine has faced multiple lawsuits for design theft, including from Levi's and Dr. Martens. They have been ordered to pay fines for infringement but continue the practice due to its profitability. Independent designers can't offer the ultra-low prices that Sheen does, which often results in their sales plummeting. By copying designs, Sheen undermines small businesses and discourages creativity in the fashion world, all while making a profit off the hard work of others. Toxic Chemicals and Health Hazards Another unsettling aspect of Sheen's production is its use of toxic chemicals. An investigation by CBC Marketplace found that several Sheen garments contained toxic chemicals, including lead, phthalates, and formaldehyde, 
substances linked to serious health risks, from skin irritation to organ damage and even cancer. The report showed that some shine items contained lead levels nearly 20 times the legal limit in Canada, posing a particular risk to children. The worst part? These chemicals don't just affect Shine's customers. They impact the environment and the workers who handle these materials daily. The toxic runoff from factories pollutes local waterways and ecosystems, putting entire communities at risk, all for the sake of producing a cheap garment that might not last beyond a few wears. Child labor and worker exploitation. Imagine children as young as 10 or 12 spending their days stitching, ironing, and packaging clothes instead of attending school. Their childhoods are stolen and replaced with dangerous and exhausting work. And all of this for a few dollars, or sometimes even less. It's not just adults facing exploitation in Shane's supply chain. Children are part of this story too. Reports from nonprofit organizations indicate that child labor is not uncommon in Shane's factories and its broader network of suppliers. Children are forced to work long hours in cramped conditions, often without breaks, to keep up with the rapid pace of production that Sheen demands. Investigations by the NGO Public Eye found that workers, including children, in Sheen's supplier factories work upwards of 75 hours a week, sometimes for as little as 4 cents an hour. This is far below China's legal minimum wage, making Sheen's factories some of the most exploitative in the fast fashion industry. The True Cost of Sheen's Cheap Fashion the reality is that Shane's cheap clothing comes at a high cost. Behind every $5 top or $10 dress is a tangled web of environmental destruction, human rights abuses, and exploitation. When we buy from Shine, we're not just buying clothes. We're supporting a system that prioritizes profit over people, fashion over fairness, and convenience over conscience. The facts are out there. From forced labor documented by the ASPI to toxic chemicals confirmed by CBC Marketplace, the evidence is clear. Together, we can make a difference by being conscious consumers, demanding transparency, and holding companies accountable. So, the next time you think about buying from Shane, ask yourself, is it worth it? Is that new outfit worth the cost to the planet, to the workers, and to your own health? Together, we can make a difference by being conscious consumers, demanding transparency, and holding companies accountable. Because no outfit is worth the price of human suffering.